Alrighty, so as requested, I am doing a little bit of a, uh, a video here on Ortho 4XP. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you probably want to go and check it out. You can um, just Google Ortho 4XP and you get all the information about it. But uh, what it does is it brings satellite information or satellite imagery and OSM street data into X-Plane. Uh, and uh, if you've been watching any of my streams, you'll see how good uh, the US looks, especially places like the Grand Canyon. Um, they look they look absolutely amazing with the satellite scenery. Uh, from a VFR pilot's perspective, it allows you to um, track visually uh, through waypoints and looking down at the terrain, um, which is really exciting. Um, but uh, what we will do now is I'll give you a bit of a uh, a bit of a uh, a guide on how to get it set up and get it going. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, the first thing you want to do is if you Google it, um, you Oscar Pilot, <clears throat> Oscar Pilot here, uh, if you go to just this uh, GitHub uh, right here, you'll be able to get to the Ortho 4XP uh, repository, um, which uh, I'll leave that, that up there so you can copy it down. Um, I do have it already uh, downloaded, so I'll very quickly um, get it going up here. So uh, once you've got it unzipped, you'll have uh, all this just here. Uh, Ortho 4XP uh, is located in the bin folder. If you click on bin, uh, and then if you go down to here, you've got Ortho 4XP uh, 120 Bravo. Uh, there might be a new one out now, but uh, at the time of this video, 120 Bravo uh, is the version. So you double click to start it. It's gonna open a whole bunch of uh, windows. You're gonna have a, um, a, a command window here <clears throat> where it'll do the, um, the work. And then you'll have your Ortho 4XP window just here. So there's a couple of things we need to do right off the bat. Uh, so we need to go and choose our source here for uh, for um, the satellite data. So you've got obviously OpenStreetMap, you've got Bing, which is BI, you've got Google, which is Geo2, um, you've got Arc, and you've got a couple of other ones. Uh, I find that mostly the best the best ones are between Bing and Arc. Arc is really slow at downloading. You do get some good quality, but it's probably twice or three times as long when it downloads, so it does take a uh, a little while. Uh, whereas Bing uh, pretty much is is pretty good. Um, the next thing you want to do is your curvature tool here. You want to make that number one. I did know a reason why you had to do that. I just can't remember now. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go down here to the bottom where you've got build overlays and tick custom overlay directory. The thing you want to do now is point this. It'll ask you to select a folder and you want to point it to your X-Plane 11 folder, global scenery, X-Plane 11 global scenery. You want to point it to that. So we just click select folder. That should populate in there. Uh, and that's about all the sort of pre-work we need uh, to do. So uh, the next thing you want to do is click on Earth Tile Map and up will come a very, very, very big uh, world uh, map uh, here, um, which you can you can see just here. I've obviously got Australia, uh, Australia set up. Um, and what we want to do is first things first is you want to make sure that you're down over here on the left, you've got Build Mask and Build Overlay ticked. It's the only ones you need to tick. Next, you want to choose which sort of tiles you want to download. So, for example, if we wanted to do, um, <coughs> I've got a uh, little, I've got one that one already selected here, but let's go up here and do cans, for example. So, what you want to do is you want to press and hang on to shift and then let left mouse click. And then you'll see that uh, you can just keep left by hanging on to shift, just click uh, left clicking. Uh, and you can see there that um, we've chosen. Um, that those uh, those tiles. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten tiles there uh, that we want to download, which covers a nice big section of cans, um, which we can then go um, and just simply click to build batch now, which is just here, uh, and you'll see uh, this little worker window start populating with text, um, and it will start downloading. Uh, one of the things you can do though, and I have think I have missed it in this uh, when I was talk, setting up this page here, is you'll hear a lot of, of us talk about Zoom level. So um, you'll hear us talk about downloading Zoom level 14, Zoom level 17 or 18. And basically what that means is that's basically the zoomed quality level of the scenery from the satellite. So if you, if you download say ZL13 or ZL14, your tile's gonna download quite quickly because it's gonna be quite small 
wall. Um, but the closer you get to the tile, i.e. taking off, and you look over to your right, it's going to be more blurry. But the higher you climb up, the better, the more and more better the image will look look because you're further away from it. Um, so, you know, ZL14 is great for anything over about 10,000 feet. Anything under that, you start to see, you know, houses being just a bit blurry a little bit. When you get down into circuit height altitude, uh, it stuff's really blurry. Um, so you've got to ask yourself, what sort of flying will you be doing? Um, <clears throat> uh, do you, you know, are you going to, you know, you say for an example, if you're going to do ortho from Sydney to Melbourne, for example, uh, which is a one and a half hour flight, do you want to have really good, really high zoom level ortho around Sydney, really high zoom level ortho around uh, Melbourne, but then in the middle, do you want to have it as slightly, uh, slightly less? So you can do all that, but you just have to download it in two different segments. So you download your high definition stuff first, um, and then you set up for your lower definition stuff after that, or vice versa. You can't, you can't choose high. You can't choose in the one application. You can't choose to download this section in. Um, in high definition, like zoom zoom level seventeen, and then go to fourteen or thirteen um, in the one sort of setup. You have to um, let it complete the seventeens, and then you set it up to complete the fourteens or, or something like that. Um, so what we will do is we'll just um, have it on fourteen, for example. Um, and one of the things we want to do is um, one of the options, which is absolutely great about Ortho, is you can go okay. Well, we've chosen one tile here. We say Cairns, for example. Cairns is that tile just there. All right, we want to download Cairns at 14 because we haven't got a lot of hard drive space. We want just something better than default. And 14 is really good. It'll be quite quickly. Uh, it'll download quite fast and it won't use a hell of a lot of uh, hard drive space. But maybe you want to make Cairns Airport, around Cairns Airport, really high definition. But once you get out of Cairns Airport, maybe about two or three miles you just want to go back to 14. Well you can do that on a per tile basis. So if we go, if I just lower this and uh, minimize that, if we go to uh, Bing and custom zoom level, so if we click on this guy, actually no I've gone one, I need to go back to this guy. One of the things I need to double, I need to click, is it double click? Yeah it's double click. Double click on the square you want to tweak individually. So um, what I've done is I've double clicked on cans and if I just bring that out here and then click on custom zoom level. If I go Bing, I should go to choose Bing. Uh, I will choose, uh, yeah, zoom level 11 is okay just for a bit of a preview and I click preview button. Uh, this little guy is gonna start downloading uh, the tile, just that one tile at zoom level 11. Um, and what we want to do is when it finishes here, there we go. So there's the cans at zoom level 11. Oh, that is actually rather uh, zoomed out. Uh, you can see, I think that's cans airport just here. We might have to go uh, zoom level 12, zoom level 12, we'll preview that again. Oh, there we go. Um, cans, cans, cans. Actually, is cans now. Cans is down here. What am I doing? There we go. Cans is down there. Uh, so you can see that this is cans at zoom level twelve. Um, so we want to. We're going to download all this at zoom level fourteen. So it's going to look a little bit more detailed than this, but. The, higher, the, the closer we get to the scenery, as in we're coming into land or we're taking off, it's going to look quite blurry. So what we want to do is we want to make the area around this, uh, around Cairns, and I guess we could even go around the CBD at a higher uh, uh, scenery download um, uh, zoom level. So what we can do is these buttons over here are the custom zoom levels. So if we go, <clears throat> if we go back to this box just here, we're saying that download the whole thing in zoom level 14. But with the after we've clicked, choose custom zoom level, and we've downloaded our preview tile at Bing at twelve. We want to say um, we want to do a particular area um, at a custom zoom level, and we're going to make that custom zoom level zoom level eighteen. So what we need to do is hang on to shift. We just need to click around what we want to make zoom level eighteen. So if we click there, say if we click there, there there and we'll just put it over the other side of the mountain there so what we're saying now is if we click save and exit we're saying download all those tiles at zoom level 14 but this one tile is downloaded at zoom level 14 but in this section here download at zoom level 18 
So what you'll see is all your files, your file uh, sizes will be roughly around about the same, and that will be purely dependent on the overall zoom level that you choose, which is this guy here. But on this one tile, because what we did on the Earth map tile is we double clicked on it, so we got to choose it for a custom level. And in the uh, the custom uh, zoom level, choose custom zoom level window, we've then cut out this little area. It's gonna this one tile is gonna be a little bit uh, higher um, file size than all the rest because it's gonna uh, make this section here zoom level 18. So if we click save and exit, and then we click uh, back over here to the tile select uh, the tiles collection window, all we need to do now is click batch build. So if we click batch build you're going to see uh, this window start and start coming to life and it's going to start uh, downloading for us. Uh, you'll know when it's done. It will tell you when it's complete. Um, you can... Um you can ask it, so on completion, uh, either exit the program or shut down your computer. That's a really handy one because uh, if you want to leave it on overnight. Um, the, the download speed for this is purely dependent on the size, the overall size of what you're downloading the uh, base zoom level in. So just recapping really quickly, when you start the, uh, the program, the first thing you want to do is choose your base source. So I choose Bing, it's generally pretty good. Your zoom level, purely dependent on where you, and how you're going to fly and how much hard drive space you've got. And remember, you can set a custom area for a higher resolution like I just showed you. So choose that, change your curve tool to one, go in here and choose your custom overlay folder. So just tick that box there, which will bring up the pop-up. And then you want to choose it in, you want to make sure it's in your X-Plane 11 Global Scenery and X-Plane 11 Global Scenery folder. You don't have to go into the Earth Nav folder that's in that folder, you just go on the outside. Once you've done that, you click on the Earth tile map, which is this guy here. Hanging onto Shift, you just choose the tiles that you want. If you want a custom um, file, actually before you do that, you obviously choose the tiles you want. Click Build Mask, Build Overlay. For the, if you want to choose, a, if you want to customize a tile because maybe the airport that you like flying to is in it, uh, you double click the tile and you just minimize that, and then you go to Choose Custom Zoom Level, and that brings up that window again. You're in that window, uh, we need to, I'll just bring it back, uh, preview. You go to your area that you want to, uh, you want to adjust. Uh, make sure that your source is on Bing and you've done your preview. Uh, choose your, your custom zoom level, which you've got here. Hanging on to shift, just click around the area you want to use as your custom zoom level. Click save and exit. And then you click uh, batch build on this guy. All right, well, Sean, I've done that. Now what do I do? It's all downloaded. It looks amazing. It looks fantastic. Okay, so if you go back to your ortho uh, folder, we're in the bin folder. That's where we started ortho. Go back one. Uh, you'll come to the tiles folder. So the tiles folder here, and it's already started downloading my tiles. So this is the thing you want to copy uh, or uh, copy into X-Plane. Now, um, you can either copy it into the X-Plane folder itself, or you can just right-click on them and go create shortcut and copy and paste the shortcut into the X-Plane scenery folder. And the, the, the folder that it goes into uh, is uh, X-Plane, X-Plane 11, uh, custom scenery, and you can see all my ortho and stuff in here. And that's where it goes. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of copying stuff into the X-Plane folder because every now and again I, I zip up my X-Plane 11 folder if I'm going to do an upgrade to a new version or something like that. And if you have all that scenery and stuff in there, you zip all that up into this huge, you know, hundreds of gigabyte file. So I just put my scenery somewhere else and then just create a shortcut and pop it, pop it in the custom scenery folder. And that way you can put it anywhere. You can put it on an external hard drive. You can put it on another physical drive. Um, there's, there's no issue there. Um, there is um, another thing that you need to do. So we spoke about copying in... Um, Let's go back here. Creating some shortcuts and copying those in. That'll copy the texture in. So that'll copy those textures in for cans, for example. What we need to do is 
This will also grab the open street data and put in the roads, put in the, the train lines, put in the power lines, put in the houses. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we copy that stuff in as well. And that's not contained in these tiles. We've got to go back to one, back one here and we need to go to, let's double check, I know what I'm talking about here. Um, that guy there. So we need to copy the OSM street data in as well. Uh, and you, all you need to do is um, that can go, uh, you can just copy that folder, uh, duplicate that folder. Oh, well, not duplicate folder, that folder, sorry. Create a shortcut for that folder and uh, pop it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, actually, no, I think I got that wrong. I did get that wrong. It's not the ortho uh, OSM data. It's the uh, Y ortho 4XP overlays folder. My apologies. So you don't need to copy all those individual folders out for that. All you need to do is create a shortcut and uh, pop that one in the custom scenery folder as well. So you'll go into tiles, you'll create your shortcuts, you'll paste those into the custom scenery folder, and then you'll also um, uh, create a shortcut for that, for this one, and paste that one into the um, the custom scenery folder. So if we go to X-Plane 11 custom scenery, <clears throat> you will see if I sort this by, uh, it's sorted by name, you will see that I've got um, the overlays folder there, which will contain a whole bunch I'll just wake up my, uh, my external hard drive there, we'll create a whole bunch of st uh, stuff there. Um, so it's just there, and then you've got all the tile shortcut folders here. One of the things you need to do, and you uh, is you, uh, start after you've copied everything in, um, and you're keen to try it out. Start explain once, because what that's going to do is it's going to read this folder and populate the scenery packs any file. And then what you need to do is when you get to the main menu of explain, just close explain. And uh, that'll populate this data in here for you. And what you want to do is you want to arrange it so your airports are on the top. Your y, your, that ortho, that y over, uh, ortho overlays folder, which we is the single folder that we create, which is this guy here. He needs to be next after that. And then what we need to do is then put the overlay tiles under that. Okay. Um, and that's, that's how you do it. So airports sit on top because they sit on top of the scenery. Then your roads, your uh, traffic lines, uh, sorry, your power lines and your railways, they sit under that. And then the actual tiles for your scenery sit under that. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so this will, um, you'll have to manually edit this and just copy and paste stuff around. Uh, but if you find that you do get into the sim and, hey, where's that scenery I downloaded? Oh, where's the airport that I, yeah, I've got the scenery, but where's my airport gone? Uh, that'll be because you've got the um, the order of the scenery, uh, scenery underscore packs or any file incorrect. Uh, so I hope that helps, guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It is a pretty good tool. It takes ages to download, so be patient. Uh, it will smash your internet. It will suck up your hard drive space. Uh, but the byproduct of that is you have a sim that looks absolutely amazing and uh, it looks very, very realistic. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Uh, please uh, let me know if I've stuffed anything up, and uh, I'll see you all again really soon. Bye for now.